Activate the cave. <laughs> Welcome to the cave of the Dog Shark. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, working on another little guitarish project today. Um, specifically we're going to be putting together uh, a, a, a true bypass looper now uh, for those of you who are not sure what one of those is um, it's basically a signal routing box that allows you to cut loops of signals in and out of your main signal path uh, so you've got your guitar going in one end and then a bunch of switches and each of those switches has uh, an, a, an, an a send and return uh, socket and the switch engages or disengages that particular loop. Um, I'll tell you why I want one. Uh, you can probably see on my pedals on, on this shelf here behind me. Now these are the ones I actually use when I'm at home uh, practicing, rehearsing, um, just jamming, mucking about, recording, doing whatever. And the reason I've got them all up here is I like to stand up and play and I like to be able to twiddle with them uh, and not have to be bending down every five seconds. Uh, I thought I'd build myself uh, a true bypass looper so I can basically have some switching down on the floor right at my feet where I need it, uh, set the pedals up how I want them to be set up and then if I'm jamming and I need to kick something in and out uh, or even recording uh, then I can, I can do that. Specifically what sort of bypass looper are we building? Well. Uh, I wanted one that had enough loops on that I could split my signal path into what I categorise as the sort of main groupings of pedals types. Um, so you've got things like uh, filter effects and pitch effects, uh, you've got drive effects, you've got uh, and gain effects, you've got modulation, you've got time based. And, uh, so yeah, this just gives me lots and lots of options. But, Fundamentally, what is a bypass looper? I mean, it's just a bunch of switches and some wires, that's it. Um, the parts involved in this project are quite straightforward. Uh, we have an enclosure. Now, I've gone to the trouble of drilling this all already. I've, uh, the, this particular looper, what I've, gone, what I've decided I wanted to do was I wanted it to have a master bypass. So, when you hit that one switch, it cuts everything out completely. Um, that way, you can set it up. Uh, with a bunch of different loops engaged if you so wish and bypass a lot of them in one go. It's just kind of useful to have. Then I wanted the next loop to really be for my tuner um, so I can have the tuner on all the time and then just like hit the, the tuner loop to mute the signal. Uh, and I've got the tuner up here where I can see it but better because again my eyesight's a bit shite as well. So. Uh, and then I've got five more straightforward loops. Uh, essentially the six loops, the tuner is just the tuner bit is just a loop. Uh, but then I've got another five loops after that. So basically we're building a six loop bypass looper with a master bypass switch. Let's get into the parts. What parts do we actually need to be doing this? Well like I said there's an enclosure here. Uh, I found this from I got this from a great company called Jed's Peds. They uh, they had this in stock uh, listed on their website. It's the perfect size for this sort of project. Uh, so yes, I've drilled all the holes I need for this, so you can see on the back of it there's a bunch of holes for where the, the jack sockets are going to go on the front of it. We've got holes for uh, the foot switches themselves and that line through the centre is for uh, LEDs that are going to tell me whether or not that loop is engaged or not. Um, one of the holes, other holes, on each end we have a hole for our main input and output. Uh, and then one of the little hole on the back there for the power supply uh, connection that's going to power the, the LEDs. So the rest of the parts are quite straightforward. You can probably see them spread out here in front of me. We've got old classic 3PDT uh, foot switches. We've got seven of those. Uh, and then we've got uh, lots and lots of mono jack sockets. Uh, to uh, to give us all the uh, the loops that we need. Uh, other than that, uh, we've got our little power supply connector, little power supply uh, socket, 
uh, and then we have a bunch of LEDs uh, that I've already put these in little LED mounts that are going to mount to the, the chassis uh, and so we can see when our loops are on or off. Uh, other than that, a few little resistors just to, uh, to pull down the voltage going to the, uh, to the LEDs uh, and after that bit of wire and that's really it. I, uh, I wanted to try and find like a, a wiring diagram. I couldn't really find anything online that I, uh, I felt really suited exactly what I was trying to achieve. Uh, I went ahead and, uh, and drew my own uh, and I'll probably pop that up on the screen so you can see that briefly um, and I'll probably put this on my website at some point uh, if, uh, if anybody wants to get hold of it they can do. Um, I've tried to make it as clear to, to understand as possible um, but it's it should be easy enough for me to follow, uh, which means just about anybody could follow it because, again, no electronics expert at all, just kind of okay with uh, with the tools and, uh, and can solder a bit. So, all right, well, first job I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount everything to the enclosure. Uh, so let's crack on with that and, uh, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see where we're at once, once everything's mounted. everything mounted now pretty much we stopped shy of mounting a few of the jack sockets uh, just to give us the space to work within there they would probably get in the way of me wiring up a few of the switches um, but you can see all of the switches in there uh, you can see all the LEDs mounted as well uh, we've got an input and an output jack uh, we've got our little power supply socket as well uh, and we've got some if not uh, Half, well, half of the actual uh, inputs and outputs for the back or the send returns. Uh, wanted to mention as well at this point, you can probably see I've sharpened on a few uh, letters on the outside and on the inside, just so I know what I'm dealing with, what I'm working on uh, when I'm doing it. And I know this thing looks pretty basic, looks pretty simple, uh, and not particularly very pretty. Uh, but at some point, I will decorate it. I think. Um, that's probably going to be a future video uh, I'll do. I've got a, a great mate, uh, my old buddy Pete, who uh, we decorate out. We decorate these pedals together. I got out of his place. He's got some great kit for uh, for doing this sort of thing. Uh, it's a bit of an unusual method, so I think it's it's worthy of a video in itself. I've got a whole bunch of pedals that I've needed needed decorating for a long time, uh, and as soon as this uh, stupid fucking lockdown is over. Uh, then uh, maybe we'll get something organised where I can go down and uh, we'll uh, we'll do some uh, some pedal decorating and make them look nice. Be nice to uh, to you know to pretty them up. So uh, all that's left to do now really is to uh, to run all the wiring. Now there's quite a bit to do, uh, but it's fairly straightforward. It is literally just wires now at this point. A few resistors. Uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on with that and uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit and I'll show you uh, show you where we've got. Oh, uh, yeah. any questions, comments, anything you want to ask or anything you want to say, feel free to leave comments in the, uh, the comments section. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions anyone might have. Um, so, yeah, leave a comment. It's a beat. 
back. Um, so far, so good. Um, what we've now done is we've run all of the ground lines and we've now also wired up uh, all the LEDs uh, you can see there. Uh, I've kind of left it quite open, I haven't really shielded too much. Uh, you've got resistors on each LED and them all run into uh, power so uh, we should be able to test that already actually. Yeah, in fact I'm going to plug this into power and uh, just give it a quick test. Uh, Hey Google, turn the guitar rig on. Okay, so there's a power connection. There you go, so plugged in power. LED works, LED works, LED works, LED works, LED works, LED works. LED works. LED works. Switch them all on. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah. So, it's up. So, fabulous. So, we now just need to wire up all the remaining signal paths. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get on with that. Or eat. quite a long time soldering and, uh, and doing various things uh, we're finished and so this is what we have we have our uh, pedal looper uh, all buttoned up got all of the switches in there all the LEDs in there we've got an input and output uh, and then on the back there we have all of the various uh, send and returns for all the different loops um, configured that way configured them that way where some are sort of horizontal some are vertical uh, based on basically just how much space I had to play with on the inside so speaking of the inside that's what it looks like uh, a bit of a jumble of wires I uh, unfortunately ran out of uh, certain colors of wires so I had to kind of mix and match but it's all buttoned up in there we've got the grounds all worked out we've got the power for all the LEDs and then we've got all the signal routing and the switching for the uh, the loops so yeah not too bad uh, quite pleased with with how it's kind of gone together uh, no idea yet whether it actually works so that's all that's left now is to uh, to try it out right so uh, we've got everything uh, up on here for testing uh, we've got power going to the thing we've got a guitar signal going in and we've got an output going straight to our amp and So far, so good. Could do with a little tune up. But our master bypass. Signal's still there. That's very good. Alright, well, let's let's test the loop. So, I have uh, uh, an OCD that I built. Uh, I'm going to uh, give that some power also. There we go. Power. And obviously, I've got a couple of leads coming out. Um, we're going to plug it into our the tuner loop is just the same the loop so we've got a return going there uh, is there enough space to get the cable in fingers crossed yes there is there we go very good all right so we've got all right, it's not ideal but it's uh, we're in there pull that, pull that. okay so let's see what happens I'm not quite sure exactly what to expect but oh she's in and if we hit our master bypass back to clean turn our loop off and we're good so loop one first works okay good stuff uh, let's try the next one so again we've got uh, send the uh, return no hold on silly mate uh, no that's right send return uh, 
Oh, they don't want to fit next to each other and we have to use different cables. Ah, well, that's weird because they worked on the other one. Ah, that's really fucking annoying. Millimetric differences. Alright, we're gonna have to borrow a different type of cable, that's fine, we've got loads. Alright, the, the jacks I've got going into this plan for are straight jacks as well, so should be a lot neater than, uh, than this. So, there we go, we'll, uh, we'll get our return. Hopefully the sender should fit now. Yeah, there we go. All right, so test on loop two. I think at this point we can assume the master bypass is going to work as it should for all of them because it it literally just cuts the whole lot out. So we're good there. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be working. Happy days! Uh, let's just keep going. Turn, send. Lovely. Next. Turn, send. that well, let's try the very last loop uh, did I put that there wait yeah send return return send right well somewhat successful test I would say there uh, we know that everything works apart from that loop 4 so I'm going to get a look at that now and uh, See if I can't see what it is. Should be something simple. Right, right so we're back. Um, done a bit of jiggery pokery with this. Um, but uh, we've got it sorted out now. Seems to be uh, doing what it's supposed to be doing. Got the, uh, the overdrive pedal on. We've got a clean signal going through. We kick it in. Very happy with that now. Yes. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in this sort of thing, you want to get in touch, you want to ask questions, you want to discuss anything with me, then feel free to leave comments. Uh, give us a subscribe, please. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.